He was the wrong guy. Tonight, Pritchard police are admitting photos released in connection with Saturday's brutal attack and rape of a woman at a Pritchard motel were of a man not at all connected to that crime. It's a conclusion they came to yesterday morning, but it's something they didn't share with local media until more than 24 hours later after NBC 15 contacted them, leaving the innocent man's family dealing with the fallout. It was a message from her sister about her brother that turned this woman's family upside down. One of my sisters sent me pictures from my Facebook and showed me his work truck and showed me his face. And that's when we discovered that, okay, he did something. What's going on? That was Monday. The woman would soon learn the Facebook posts were a reaction to media coverage of a brutal assault and rape that happened Saturday at the Star Motel in Pritchard. Pritchard police had distributed security camera photos of a truck and a man they believe was responsible for the violence. This woman says she and her sister immediately recognized the man as her brother, who was more than ready to let police know he was not the man they were looking for. We, my um, sister took him to the Pritchard police station Monday night, which one nobody there. They called, nobody showed up. So they went back home, got up Tuesday morning, took him to the Pritchard police station, and one of the polices came, got him, asked him was he a certain name. He told him no, that wasn't him. He pulled his picture ID out, showed the police officer who he was, and they asked him why did he cut his beard, which he never had a beard. And then they took him to the fire station where they interviewed him at, and then one of the police brought him back home. It wasn't until the next day, Tuesday, she says preacher police admitted he was not their guy. When did they tell him, okay, that you're not the guy? That was Tuesday around 11 o'clock. By then, the photos have been distributed by police to local media, including NBC 15, and have been posted on websites for nearly 24 hours. And then things got worse. What happened at your brother's place of employment? Um, he had to return the truck because he had to turn himself in and he didn't want, they was gonna let him go due to the fact that he's been on here. They don't want a criminal working on their work site. He lost his job, something that could have been avoided, she says. They should have reached out to y'all Tuesday when they cleared him. But when that didn't happen, by this afternoon, she took matters into her own hands, contacting us here at NBC 15 News. We took the photos down and then asked Pritchard police if they were sure this was their guy. A spokesperson said they'd check. Meanwhile, on the internet. You say it's still there and it's got a life of its own online. Yes, it's a lot. It's like 340 shares online. And that is on uh, Facebook? Facebook. And every time I click onto my Facebook page and I see it, it's heartbroken. It's like, listen, looking at the comments, like, oh my goodness. Yeah. I hope my, you know, that describes a person's life. This afternoon, more than 24 hours after her brother was cleared by Pritchard Police, the department confirmed he was not their man. But even into this evening, the pictures remain posted on at least one other mobile media outlet. Tonight, she's relieved her brother has been cleared on paper, but she wants Pritchard police to take one additional step. I want them to apologize to him. It'd be nice if one of them would get on there and say, we, this, has, this person has been cleared. And that would be helpful to you all? That would be very helpful. Now, this evening, I contacted Pritchard Police asking them if they could send us something official declaring that this woman's brother has indeed been cleared in connection with the Star Motel attack and rape. And tonight, they sent us a statement saying they are no longer looking, looking to question him, that the man was initially identified by another subject who told them they recognized him from the video, but further investigation and a positive ID from the victim led police to another potential suspect. They go on to say we regret any inconvenience caused to the initially identified gentleman and hope that he can move on from this incident. And we hope that you'll now share this new information and help bring some peace to this family and also help Pritchard police find the man who deserves to be behind bars for all of the physical and mental pain he's caused so many people tonight. NBC 15 News committed to holding those in power accountable. So if you see an issue in our community that we need to address, give our reality check hotline a call.